Well, I would very much like to wrap up our design here. Everything is looking really, really good here. If I make my way down the, the layout, so the three content boxes are complete, making my way below the three content boxes, we have the news feed, of course, and I'm going to leave that as is. We're going to just leave the news feed as we have it here. The only other thing that we have really is the footer to look after. And the footer is actually going to be really, really easy. We're just going to make a couple of very minor changes to this guy. So inside your layers panel, you should have your footer layer there. Of course, we tore him away from the from the layout earlier on, right? You might want to zoom in a little bit as well, if you like, on your, on your layout there so we can see everything. All I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to give him a solid black color overlay. Okay, so we've seen this a number of times already. I'm going to double click on the footer layers right hand side into the layer style dialog box. I'm going to go with a color overlay. There's the red showing up there on my footer across the bottom. And of course, I said black, right? So I'm just going to click on the color swatch and change the color to solid black. Okay, there we are. Very straightforward. Okay, wonderful. All right, now, as for the content of the footer, I think what I would like to do, and we see this a lot in, in different websites, is simply taking the main navigation bar there and duplicating it on top of the footer. Okay, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So this, this navigation text here, or main navigation menu, appears, of course, inside the navigation menu layer group towards the top of the layers panel. So I'm going to twist this guy open and I'm going to look for that type layer. Okay, I'm going to grab that type layer. And just as we saw a moment ago, I'm going to duplicate this layer by dragging and dropping him on top of the new layer icon down at the bottom of the layers panel like so. Okay, that's it. Perfect. Okay, now we have two menus. I'm going to take one of the menus, the duplicate here, and I'm going to drag and drop him all the way down towards the bottom of the of the layers panel on top of the footer layer, like so. Okay, as a matter of fact, the navigation menu layer group can be shut. We're done with him. And this is going to be a little bit tricky, but the, the main navigation menu here that I have selected inside the layers panel, that needs to be moved all the way down to the bottom of my layout. So with my move tool selected, I'm going to click and drag this guy all the way down towards the bottom. Now, it's tricky because he appears behind a lot of the other content, right? He's there. You can see him between the blue, the blue content boxes there and now behind my, my news feed area. So it's a little bit tricky to, to get this guy all the way down towards the bottom, but hopefully no big deal. There we are. Something like that I think is just fine. Now, for yourself, you can leave things as they are. If I just move my layers panel out of the way just a little bit so we can get a sense of the full width of our, our layout here, you could leave things as they are here. That would be perfectly fine. Sometimes what designers or developers will do is they'll take the footer text and instead of making it bold, they'll make it normal or maybe they'll change the color to white or something like that. I will leave those sorts of decisions up to you the designer. I think I'm going to leave mine completely as is, thus finishing off and concluding the high resolution design of our House of Horrors layout here inside Photoshop.